Hey guys, we're here today for another episode of How Hard Could It Be? This time, we're going to be installing the ARM Motorsports Turbo Outlet Pipe. I mean, seriously, it's just a pipe. How hard could it be? I've already done the turbo muffler delete, so it shouldn't be too hard. So we're just going to go at it, going to get this wheel off, go in there and have some fun. So they say there's two approaches you can take to this. Ow. Punch the car. One of them is to go in behind the wheel right here. And then, there we go. And then you take off the inner fender liner and go at it from there. That is supposedly the longer way of doing it. Someone else said just jack up the car and go in from underneath without removing anything. But from my knowledge of the turbo muffler delete, install hardcore, best way to do it. You really wanna have all the maneuverability in there. It makes it so much easier, you get less frustrated, even though I still got frustrated and it took me two days. So, oh well. Oh, it's already getting hot in here, holy cow, holy cow. the turbo outlet pipe and you can see why we're replacing it pancake doesn't look too hard pull this undo those undo this and i have a turbo muffler delete with an ecs silicone tube with it that goes right there but don't worry if you don't have a turbo muffler delete arm provides you with an adapter now this is the coupling for the stock turbo muffler and then a silicone tube to go to the new turbo outlet pipe so don't worry about that this comes with it i don't need it because i already have turbo muffler delete so let's get to it. Doesn't look like it should be too hard. Let's have some fun. So first I'm gonna start with just undoing these clamps on either side. That'll just help us once we remove the bolts, I think. So next we're gonna undo this adapter, which I think I'd already kinda flubbed earlier. I'm gonna take it off because we're actually gonna need this for the new one, I believe. I knew that was gonna happen at some point. Have fun looking at the ground. Hitting everything. That's one side. Oh, that hose clamp's still a little too tight. Thought I got you good, bro. Now, what do you... Oopsies. There we go. So here, I'm gonna show you the best way that I've found so far how to remove these to put them on your new turbo outlet pipe. So first, push that up a little bit, and then here, if you can see it, Pull it out and then kind of bend this in a little bit just like push through the top it's a rubber grommet like that you can see and then pull it out it's super simple okay so then once you're putting this back together take this now this is going to be to your inner cooler this side right here and you're going to want to make sure the smaller side is coming out towards you, this is the way it's gonna be facing towards you when you put it back so that you can actually get the screw through and to hold properly. What I've found, if you just kinda of squish it a little bit, usually kinda of comes through. Push it against my leg, there it is. And then make sure it's in there. Looks like it's in there pretty good. So then, Take this, these one, these holes are a little bit bigger. So you kind of got to work with what, what it's given you. Let's see, mine went through a little bit. And then, I'm gonna pull that back out. Okay, cool. 
and that is one of them. And then we're gonna go do the other one, and then we'll get this in. Right, so put that clamp we took off back on. I should clip back in like that. And then I'm gonna take this, put it over this side for now. in here. All right, so I just need to get a little bit more leverage in on this. So the hose clamp's already on there. needs to go on there. Oh, did I get it? Oh, yeah. Let's work on this one. All right, so that's not moving. Sweet. All right. Now to tighten it all up. This is fun. got dirty sign of some good work pretty decently easy work I mean anyone can do that we're gonna take it out for a spin see how it does check out the butt dyno report video to see if there are actual performance gains from this mod but anyways thank you guys so much for watching have a great day please subscribe and remember Jesus loves you bye